Hello again, it's the Watered61 back with another video. This video actually is more of an update, uh, a response to a comment I had someone make on my Nifty Fireplace entrance that everyone has been uh, watching recently. It's been on my channel. Um, he made the comment that if there was, in fact, a button then it's not really a hidden door because anyone's going to say, I wonder what this button does and it opens it up, right? So, went ahead and fiddled a bit and everything like that and came up with the fact that there's no button anymore. Just this mysterious cracked brick right here that when you place a redstone torch on opens up the door and spits the torch back off. So right, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to make a redstone torch key. Alright, just a little bit of background real quick on why this works, how this works. This design is basically, in essence, what is known as a bud switch. In fact, it's a double bud switch. Bud switches operate because they are um, a glitch or bug in the game in the way that pistons are powered. If you take a block, diagonal to a piston, and power that block, piston doesn't work but if you place any block anywhere by that piston that piston will retract so while it's a bug not a feature that they have made a comment they will eventually try to remove from the game we don't know when we don't care when we're gonna use it while it lasts right right all right so to make this design, let's go ahead and get started. Let's place a redstone torch like so. Place a block and a sticky piston. Place a block on the sticky piston. With me so far? All right. After that, all you got to do is make a little staircase up till you get to the piston and like so. So we've got sticky piston with a block, torch, block, block, two blocks, one block. From above? From high level? From the side? Although I don't see how that would help you at all. Oh well. Alright. So, next thing you do, pull out a couple repeaters. Place one not like that. Like that. And one like that. And then connect the two with redstone. Alright. That right there is the whole design. Your wall would be right here. Okay. So you would take your torch, you'd place it on the block, pop off, place back on. Um, in its basic state like this, the uh, it, it only operates uh, in an on-off, on-off. Okay. That can be adjusted, but just for the show right now, um, you can run off any part of this redstone anywhere you can run your power okay so you get a torch or a piston right there it's powered it's off it's powered it's off now I know what you're thinking if you're opening a door you don't want your wall to look like this while it's open right plus in that example I showed back there the wall didn't stay like that easy fix you come around here you take yourself a piston you place it right here right alongside this block right here break that block because it doesn't belong there place a block behind it and one blop of redstone dust now you get yourself so it pulses sends out one pulse of power shuts itself back off simple right right this can also be easily hooked into a T flip flop if that is the kind of thing you like to do and you should because T flip flops are very cool. And now you have the same on off function with your wall resetting itself 
very, very cool. Just make sure after you use your, your hidden door here, or your hidden button, that you go ahead and, and pick up the spare torches there. Because if someone comes along and, you know, they see a bunch of redstone torches just sitting on the ground and no one around, they're probably going to assume that there's something up. Alright guys, that's it for right now. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you got something to say, go ahead and comment below. I love reading the comments. I respond to all of them except for the spam comments. Because who responds to spam? That'd be ludicrous. And here, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It's painless. It gets you all of my videos as quick as possible if you're into that kind of thing. And you're watching this video, so you probably are. Until next time, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.